Hey, Brian from Snake Bites here. I get asked all the time, how do we feed all these snakes? Well, there's certainly a difference between having a few pet snakes and having several thousand snakes. Today is the day I'm gonna show you how we do it. You're watching Snake Bites. Well, we're not in the dungeon here, guys. This is our back room where we keep our freezers, and freezers are the first step that's really gonna separate a small collection and a big collection. Of course, we have tons and tons of snakes, which means we have to buy tons and tons of frozen rodents, and these are the freezers that we buy them in. And when we buy stuff, we don't buy them 10 or 20 at a time. We buy frozen rats just like this, thousands of them at a time, and we fill up a whole freezer. We do the same with mice, rabbits, and even pinkies, just like this freezer here. And this is a bag of a thousand pinkies and we go through several thousand of these every time we feed. Let's go into the baby room and talk to Chewy about it. We're in the baby raise up room and you guys know Chewy and he's the manager of this room. So how many snakes would you say are in this room? At capacity hen dog about 15,000. Okay and you guys know that raising up baby snakes the most important thing is feeding these guys. So what is the majority of this stuff eat? Pinkies, fuzzies, up to mice. How many hours a week do you spend feeding in this room? About 20 hours a week feeding, about 20 hours checking and cleaning. It's a lot of time spent on one thing. Let's go ahead and see some feeding. Hey guys, I've been thinking, I don't do that much. But if I was gonna get eaten by a scary, man-eating animal, what would it be? Lion, ooh, that's scary. Tiger, scary. Shark, even scarier. So I wanna know from you, if you were gonna get eaten by one of these scary animals, what would it be? Text or comment below. See ya. We're here in the Kluber room. Sam runs things in here, and I happen to know that there's a ton of snakes, and feeding is a huge part of things, because if you don't feed stuff well, it's not gonna breed well. The first question I have is, how many times a week do we feed in here? We feed twice a week, Mondays and Thursdays. That's a lot of snakes that need to get fed, not once, but twice a week. You know, I know that this is a ton of work. How do you make sure that each and every animal gets fed in here? It's just about moving quickly and efficient, efficiently. You start at one end of the row and you go up and down to every single tub until you get it all done. All right, so take me through the process in the morning of feeding on Monday. On Monday, uh, come in, you gotta thaw out all the rodents first thing in the morning. It takes about 15 buckets to thaw everything, 15 five gallon buckets. So that's a lot of mice and rats. Um, it takes about four hours to, to thaw everything. So we get it started in the morning and then do spot checking and then we feed after lunch. Well, I know that not everything just feeds on mice in this room, so we gotta keep the process going really good. How do you do that, and what else is feeding in here? There are a couple things. Some of the larger snakes, there's like king rats and hunderans and brooks kings that eat rats, and they're all contained to one side of one aisle, so it's easy to know what's where, and you can keep moving without too much interruption. Again, it's all about efficiency, and you can see Sam has it down. Let's go ahead and feed some snakes. We're here in the ball python rooms, and ball pythons can be a little bit of tricky feeders. They really prefer to eat live, but we have a policy here on Snake Bites TV to not show live feeding. But there is a handful of animals in our boa and python room that do feed frozen. Let's go ahead and take a look at those. All of our boas and non-ball pythons in this room eat frozen, so we thaw out a lot of frozen rats because these guys got to get fed once a week. And I tell you, feeding these guys is a lot more fun than a corn snake because they're really voracious. Let me show you what I'm talking about. Thank you. 
Lastly, we've got the monster snake. Now these guys eat frozen thawed rabbits. And these are definitely the most dodgy of the bunch to feed. You just gotta really be careful because they have a super long strike range. You don't want to get too close to these guys when they're ready to strike. Just get them in there and just pray that they hit it. Ugh. You can see the power of that animal, how quick it's set. You definitely don't want to get snatched up by that. Ugh. Man, it's just, it means it's so much power. You just know, man, you don't want that thing to hit you. <laughs> As you can see, each snake needs to get fed each week, which means it's a joint venture between my entire crew, and they really are extremely diligent to make sure the animals are cared for properly. It certainly makes you appreciate when you only have one or two snakes instead of thousands of them to feed. Man, those Brooks Kings are biting the crap out of me today. Oh, settle down, baby girl. You want suit armor? Uh -huh, they're Brooks Kings. They're just being... Let me show you how it's done. I'll do the whole section without getting bit once. Go ahead. I bet Let's you go. can. Let's go. Go ahead. I'm going. Hold no. on. You want to take my can, Missy? No. Ooh, these are really mean. Oh, God. They're really biting. Oh, yeah. Whoa, yeah. Oh, these are really biting me. Here, how about behind the back? Oh, yeah. Oh, this is really hard. Oh, oh. Oh God, it's biting me, oh God. The big scary snakes are biting Chewy. Oh, couple more snakes. Give me an ambulance. Oh, I'm stupid, I'm stupid. No bites, no bites. Chewy got no bites. Sucker. <laughs> I'll see you. I'll be reading my paper if you need anything, okay? Whatever, okay, I don't need your help. Call me if you need me, flower power. Whatever. For this week's comment of the week, the question was, if you had a choice, what animal would you breed? And Phantom Soul Player said, Well, you did say anything, and if I could breed anything, I would pick Komodo dragons or werewolves. Ha ha, though breeding werewolves would be a bit awkward, and I don't think I would have a ton of fun breeding something that could eat me. Maybe I'll just stick with my snakes. XD, great show guys, very informative as always. Komodo dragons and werewolves? Yeah, I would stick to snakes too, but it does bring up an interesting question. Do you guys believe in werewolves? Go ahead and comment down below and let me know what you guys think. And I hope you guys enjoyed the show and learned a little bit about what it's like to feed our large collection. Over on my Facebook page, I asked you guys what you wanted to see, and Adam Tinsley said he wanted to see boobs and a snow corn. So here's the snow corn, and you asked for it. Here's your boobs. Till next time, you've been watching Snake Bites.